Alright. Time for the next installment of the Beginner's Guide series. Today I'll be playing some Blue Cane. Uh, I'll be playing against a Warrior Care, which is a little bit like... Ugh. When it comes to like early 1v1s, I definitely want to avoid him. Uh, since there's a very high likelihood he starts on blue, I'm going to start on top side here as well. I also want to start on top side because it clears me towards two ranged champions, which is going to give me more form orbs. Oh boy. I'll take the flash. Don't stop me from recalling, I beg. Alright, well, I guess he gets to start on my red buff. That is a full scale invade with no backup. I think it's worth using my flash there, honestly. It, I think it's better, ends up being better. He's gonna get my red buff for sure here. Ah, oh, well, it is what it is. I won't have the time to, like, run all the way up here. And he's just gonna be able to take this, which is fine. Oh, this is no problem for me. Now, for the Beginner's Guide series, um, there is a playlist in the description that you can check out that will have the videos that I've done so far. And I also upload daily, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those either. I understand, like, red is a thing and all that, but if I take all my time just running up there, which I wouldn't have, I would waste way too much time. That is just simply not worth it. I'm not going to. Even if he just takes my red buff and instantly walks out like he just did, I don't mind that too much. You might wonder why, but, like, really, in this case, I don't lose too much. He's just gonna get his blue, his red, and he's gonna probably look for, like, some, like, triple camp clear. I can't fight him in the early game. I have no interest of fighting him in the early game because it is a Warwick and I am playing Kane, who is especially weak early on. So I will not be facing him. I'm not going to try anything. There's no problem. I could just lose my red buff. As long as I just clear the rest of my camps. Like, sure, I won't hit level 4, but in this situation, uh, I don't lose that much. It's just one camp. If I had, like, a better early game champ to potentially fight the Warwick with, then this could be an entirely different story. I probably would be looking for something, but I don't, so... This is completely fine with me. Gonna clear normally here. Make sure with your Q as well that you land the dash component and the swipe component. There are two damage instances you can see here, the dash and the swipe. Make sure to land both. You wanna like dash into a wall, you can animation cancel it a little bit. But yeah. The Q from Kane is just a dash. Again, hit both components, otherwise you are missing out on good damage. Your E goes into wall, gives you a slight heal, gives you a movement speed increase. Your W is just a nice skill shot with a slow. And if you're going to the blue form, from Kane, the uh, Q doesn't change. The W is instant instead of having like kind of a charge up time, and your E will be up much, much faster, so you can use it for more mobility. Now, what I think happened is he did blue into red, so I'm just gonna quickly scope. Oh, there he is. Well, that's interesting. I have mastered every weapon in war. He is desperately going for the bullet angle, isn't he? Good enough for me, they're dead. Okay! I like it, Tristana. Very aggressive. Walk up. See what happens. Katarina's coming as well. I got turret aggro. That's not... I got the kill, I guess. It's fine. I was hoping to not get turret aggro there, but it's more than fine this. Because in my first back here, I'll be able to get my Dirk anyway, so it's perfectly fine. I get my Futures Market Purchase. Not too, bitch, not too much of an issue, really. Very aggressive play from the Tristana there, though. I am fa I'm a fan of the aggression, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely nice to see. But perhaps a little far. I'm happy that I got the kill there, though. That does help me, help me out quite a bit. First off, we're just gonna walk the top scuttle here to make sure I quickly get that. And then uh, from there on out, we have another jungle clear to do. If you have enough money for your Dirk on your first back, be sure to buy it. If you don't, buy a tier with some long swords or whatever you can afford, really. See if I can walk up to this guy right here, because he is going pretty aggressive right now. Try to walk up to him first, like not use my W there. Good. Nice. There we go. Perfect. Trying to like get close as possible for the W to land. I just want to push this into the third. Maybe that was way. I I will admit that was a lot more damage that came from my Q than I was expecting. I just forgot that. Yeah, I forgot that Kane has insane wave clear. Okay, he's dead. He kind of greeted for turret plates there. I wanted to give him a recall, but yeah. I, I That one's my bad. I did not intend to take the entire wave. I'm gonna say that right now. It's just Kane Q does a lot of damage, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just move on and keep clearing for now. I definitely need to like recall relatively soon because I do want to get my tier at like a good pace at least. And we are clearing towards bot, so I'm probably gonna like look for a full clear here and then maybe look for the bot gank still. Depend on that depends on how things are gonna turn out. I kind of have to wait for like my brand anyway to be to get there. My Mordecai's guys are flashed away is pushing back, so Timo should be fine, but yeah. Everyone's getting pushed in. Fight that real quick. Let's see their bot lane anywhere. Would they have recalled? Potentially they could have. Oh, no, they're here. But they did scuttle. Thank you for hitting the ward, I appreciate that. Wait by the river long enough, and the enemy dead will float by. Got hit by that one. That dude hit level six, we should be careful here. We'll just walk over this way. I can just hold the hold the wall with Q here. Oh, I see. That's a hit. I'm just looking what they're gonna do here. I'm assuming they do dragon. There it is. Stay close to the wall here. I, 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 my main goal would be to just zone them here if I can. Oh, that's... I, I did not think that through. That's just really, 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 really dumb on my end. I'm admitting that straight away. I, I was like, they don't have anything, but I completely forgot about RE Charm. I just absolutely griefed that. I, it's just a situation of don't even ask, man. I'm just absolutely griefing that. <laughs> Let's ignore that one. I was like, I could just get to, like some aggression on it, and I just completely forgot like RE Charm is a thing. For whatever reason, I just forgot. Mind-blowing. All right, well, camps are respawning, so let's just make sure I get these. My entire jungle will be up here, so I can get a good amount of tempo going. I need to, like, fix a little bit there, because that, that mistake there was pretty bad. Very stupid. Definitely cost me a bit. Make sure I get my clear in here and then I'll get one more gank on their bot lane. If I can get one kill, I'll get blue form and then we can start playing the game, actually. Dude, I cannot believe I brain lagged there, actually. Holy moly. Okay, Ari went for the bolt rotation. I think they... Like, Ari's... Or, sorry, Tristana's fine... Depends on if Warwick's going to chase that one, I, I suppose. I doubt he would. Okay, Timo's winning top, that's good. Oh, we see a Zyra. Make it over the wall here. There you go. Wait, hello? I definitely got scammed on that one, I'm not going to... Man, how the hell does he get away with one HP? I wanted to commit to the fight regardless. I, if I wanted to like kind of trade one for one, it's because I really just wanted my form. That's like the biggest thing. Um, yeah, I just really wanted the form, and I guess inting for form is a thing. But you know, I, I thought I was gonna be able to kill the guy, but he literally had one HP. If you're trying to form switch, try to walk close to these turrets because it's gonna give you more mobility out of the map, uh, like onto the map right away. And the fact that I didn't kill him on literally a slither of HP is very unfortunate. There are my boots. I'll start picking it up from here, man. It's okay. I wanted to just commit to the play in general for the blue form, because that way I can just get the form. I may have been able to get it without like going in for the last part, potentially, but yeah, I needed my form badly, especially in the game set I'm currently in. Because this early game, like, has not been too amazing with that invade and all that type of deal. That kill would have meant that I would have gotten my uh, brawlers, though, I do believe. So that's a tiny bit unfortunate. 
All right, that's a kill already. I think Zyra's also dead here. Just go for a quick dive. I don't have ult, but like, just walk over here. Make sure to auto attack, as your auto attacks from blue can do a lot of damage as well. So try to walk up with W. I'm gonna get Warwick hunted here if I'm not careful. Try to walk up with your W, then auto attack Q them if you can. Same thing kind of goes with Prolos Claw if you're gonna, like, if you, the moment you have it. You want to walk up first, then W, then Prolos Claw, or like auto attack Prolos Claw, Prolos Claw, auto attack Q, something like that. It's, yeah, just make sure to don't forget about your auto attacks because they're actually very valuable. You could like bait and engage from like Ari with ult here. This could work pretty well for us. He should not be stalling too long for this engage to happen though, if he wants it to happen. Ari ult used. I guess the best one I was going to get for now. That is the Herald. I was expecting that one to be honest. Oh, there's a control ward here. I see. Warwick's probably lurking mid. There he is. I have to hold wave here. I don't want to get Ari charmed. That's definitely a problem. Make sure I clear the wave real quick. I don't have to worry about a charm currently. I will have my E back fast enough. I can take some time to just do this camp right now and then wait for my Katarina to get mid. They're probably going to try to keep pushing anyway, so... I'm going to hold on to my smite because I can use that to smite ult something because that will count. Flash. No way I can get into that anymore, anymore after that flash. This is not good, is it? Oh my god. I should be able to get the Ari in a second here, though, I think. There he goes. Are you kidding? Oh, come on with your stopwatch, really? Jesus Christ. Right, fair enough, you got me. That's so, so sad. Fair play, Ari. I'm gonna go over the wall here, try to help him out. Right, at least clean that dude up. Let's go. I'm gonna slow him with my W. Very good. Nice double kill. That's Dragon. This is our best chance to do Dragon for sure. Uh, I mean, fair play to the Ari, man. She got me with that stupid stopwatch. And sadly, I wasn't able to kill her. The fact that she doesn't have a shutdown surprises me with her with her KDA right now. But, yeah, I saw the bot lane play going on, so we just rotate over to that one. Make sure I get this. The blue taking here on their side would be too aggressive since they have respawned relatively sh uh, shortly. Plus, I believe Brand's giving the Warrock an increase in movement speed. I may be barely not, but close enough to where he could definitely ruin me. I have a lot of gold, so I'm just going to recall right now. This is going to be a big, big re recall. That Okay, my Katarina is dead. Lyra's mid. Pick this up, this up, and then we get another Dirk. For now, don't have the capabilities to go for the uh, for this yet. I mean, I technically could get the Claw Fields and buy for that. But I think the Spell Shield is going to be very, very useful against that team. So I'll definitely be purchasing that before I finish my Mirror Mana, or my Mana Mune. Need to make sure I keep up my jungle tempo here for now. As long as I make sure that I keep farming. Because I am, like, Warwick has been trying to pressure a lot here, right? But I am making sure that I use my time with the effect that I can just go over walls much quicker. And just have overall more mobility than him to still keep up in CS while trying to like compensate. We're one against one on dragons. His red's gonna respawn. We're just gonna go check real quick. This has recently been hit. I'm trying to run up here. See if I can get the Ari. I'm just gonna ult him right here so he can't ult me in return. Because if he ults me, I could be in, could potentially be in trouble. Let's walk up. W. Okay, missed that one, but he uses she uses her last ult dash here. Okay, that's fine. That's a very good kill. 
Make sure to go over the wall so I can dodge that thing. Or dodge him running at me. I need Zaya. I, I see that he only had blue, so I'm quickly going to go towards his red while he's clearing topside. This is just something to note, right? Like, we kind of know this should be up. And since he only had his blue right there, I know this is up, so I can quickly take this. Take any of the camps I have a chance to take here, basically. So take this as well, because he's still top lane. This is just punishing him for his positioning right now. There's a Zaya. We walk in from behind. Be careful here for a second. We flash Prowler's Claw there to close the entire distance, because there's no nowhere she can do anything about. She can't do anything about escaping that one. I just needed to make sure that I didn't get, like, Zyra snared into all the pullback feathers from the... Uh, from the Zaya, because that could have insta-killed me. Like, I don't want to disrespect the, the, the pullback she has on those feathers that could just absolutely one-shot me, if you know what I mean. Don't have to smite this, because we see the Warwick on mid lane. They are, however, going pretty aggressive, my teammates. Good poke. I don't want to go too aggressive. We see the Mordekaiser here. That's not gonna. Uh, yeah, that's. What the, I was scared of the uh, RE charm there. That's why I didn't walk up. Because I've got charm there. I'm gonna take a lot of damage, which would just not be good. If you don't know what I mean? The spell shield's gonna help me tremendously, which I should be able to buy in a second here. That's very good. I really need to make sure I keep on top of my camp clearing, though. Definitely don't try to, like, negate that. It's fine. He actually got it. Wow. Don't disrespect the Ari. Can't really walk up because my teammates in, or my team is entirely in base. So if I try to like more heavily contest that camp, I have a very high chance a chance of dying, which would be bad. If I had like a team around me, I probably would have forced the Zyra a little bit harder there, potentially going for the kill on her. But I was like one v whatever that was going to be because I had no vision. So you know. We get this here, and then we'll buy a double longsword going into the Muramana next. I don't have my tier stacks yet, so the upgrade isn't necessarily worth it. Plus, the spell shield in this game specifically is huge. You can definitely skip this to be the third item. You get your tier very early. It can easily be your second item. But then again, like, spell shields or survivability is very crucial. Spell shield helps me a lot against, like, wa getting Warwick ulted or getting Ari charmed when I'm running at them. So this is a very valuable thing to have right now. I'm assuming this guy's actually doing Rift Herald here. But with my team's positioning, and I don't know where any of them are, this is pretty scary to check anyway. There he is. This is not good. I need this stupid thing to turn around. You are joking me you got that. Okay, fine. Ah, sad this. I got Dragon at least. Damn. Yeah, that was gonna be a complete 50-50. Whoever got the eye hit, which I think it was him in this case that I got the eye hit. Get the Rift Herald there. Quickly mosey on over to this one. You are joking. Smite him there. Use my E in the wall here for a second. Just auto attack him. At the level up quickly, we're gonna rotate over. Make sure to hit the bushes if you have the blue smite thing. I'm gonna smite him for the kill there. I don't want to give him any breathing room. Huge. Let's go. The problem now that I don't have smite actually, I don't know if smiting was worth it on Zaya. If Warwick gets to be in here and gets to smite this, then it's 100% my bad. Kill this guy, please kill him. You are. Ki oh, well. Whew. Thank God. My team kept hitting him. That's actually... Oh my God, that was scary. <laughs> they, they needed to stop hitting Dragon right away. All we have to do there is just kill that dude and we're fine, right? Like, it wouldn't even be a risk. Like, even if I had Smite, it would still be like a 50-50 if he has Smite as well. Which I guess didn't matter in this case because he doesn't have a Smite upgrade. And I would have had the advantage if I did have it. But yeah, the, the Smite on Zaya was a mistake, though, for sure. I should have had it for Dragon. Using that there is not good. You, if you are next to an objective, always try holding the smite for the objective. is definitely just a better choice. Okay, I'm just, like, carrying this team on my back at the moment. Mid lane play seems fine. Yep, yeah, it's fine. 
Make sure I keep my jungle tempo going here. There's really not much to like pressure for with my team here. Like they're kind of just chilling. They have several people dead. I don't have to worry too much about like any team fights breaking out because the enemy team shouldn't be trying to team fight anyway. And if they would, that it's still going to be a 4v3 or whatever they're going to pick. And the enemy team is in fact taking engages here. But I'm going to take my time here to recall, spend this money, get the Muramana here, and then we'll go for the... Um, this thing next. Pick some more long swords. What we saw earlier on the map respawning is his red buff. We see the Warakon bot lane just clearing. He's probably going to try to like place the Herald for bot turret or something. And I just want to go take his top side. As Tristana took that idea from you by going top side herself. But still my plan. I don't really care if that Rift Herald pushes that out. It's fine with me. Mark Smith. Probably going to have to rotate on over to this guy real quick. Make sure that I zone the Ari backwards there. So... Like, the Teemo is going to be fine against the Warwick, but if the Ari gets, like, any type of distance on the Teemo there, the Teemo could have died. If I just walk up for the Ari and try to prioritize her, that's better. Plus, me bursting Warwick doesn't really do anything. Just walk up to auto attack was enough there. I need to ult this, otherwise I get Mordekaiser ulted. He or Mordekaiser ulted something else. We stand on top of this, we wait for him. Burst him as hard as I can. Move over to the top, we see the Zaya. Hit the bush, we get the move speed boost. Very good. Land with the... Uh, I was looking to Prowler's Claw him, but it wasn't... Like, I couldn't do that, obviously, because I lost vision. But it also wasn't necessary. I should have walked through the bush here as well. The Infernal map is a little unfortunate, because I have less bushes to clip for the blue... Uh, like, for the uh, movement speed increase, but... As of right now, my main priority here is to look for his camp. So I'm like using my E mobility, as you can see, to rotate through his jungle as frequently as I can to create a bigger and bigger lead for myself. Like, don't sit on your E, is what I'm saying. Just use it very frequently. Every, sing every single time you can, you just use it to get through walls and stuff. This is very important. There we go. We lead with W, then we Prowler's Clock Q it. Could look for this guy potentially. Let's clear this. Look at that. Ooh, that that was a risk there, Zyra. I like it. If I saw her there and used W, she would have died. Spicy engage there from that dude. I'm just waiting there with E. Let's see where Zyra's at. Yeah, that damage reduction is crazy. I do no damage to that, to that dude. Whoa. He's dead. I don't know if that's worth it. Probably not. That's a shutdown for Warwick. The fact that that hit, that was an interesting hitbox. Also, if you're in walls, by the way, if you go into combat, you obviously get forced out of walls. So trying to like queue towards the right direction that you want to go in helps you quite a bit. Because then if you do get forced out of the wall, if you queue towards the other direction, it's going to put you on a more favorable spot on the wall. But let's say I get hit here, right? I'm in the wall. If I dash this way, I'm going to get put out this way, where otherwise I could have been put out on the other side, which would be a bigger problem, of course, because if I get put out like that in a fight scenario when they're actually engaged on me, I'm in trouble. There's level 16. I'm going to recall. I can't really clear anything else here. I mean, I can clear this out of base, but I can't really go for wolves, otherwise I'd be too late. Get the grudge here, and I'll get a control ward with this as well. Just make sure to frequent... Like, again, E is a very low cooldown. Don't worry too much about using it. Just use it for mobility here. I should be able to just, like, quickly do this camp while we wait. Any opportunities I can to get camps is good. You can have red buff. I don't necessarily need it. Do not hit the dragon. Good. We just play slow on the side here and let them poke a bit. Need to wait for them to walk up. It's a one shot. Smite him. There we go. No shit I did that much damage, my boy. <laughs> it wasn't just W. I'm pretty sure I auto-attacked him as well. But could be my W, I suppose. 
I, I was WQ probably. That's what happened there. I don't want to go for the dragon there because the the like it takes me a bit to like use my abilities on this. It's better for me to just like poke. Also, don't try to hard commit from the from the get go. You always want to like try to get some W clips in like this and then like kind of walk out. Try to get like one or two of those and then go in because that makes things easier. You have to do a lot of damage if you want to burst someone from complete full HP. Whereas if you like use your E mobility to like get one or two W pokes in real quick, you will be much better off. Right here, as you can see, I'm taking priority to make sure I get Warg's camps consistently so he doesn't get to farm anything anymore, which creates this lead I currently have. So right now I'm looking to take as much as possible from him. I see the top ang. I see the Mordekaiser just ulting my, my dude there, so we're gonna react. I'm just gonna ult so I don't get wrecked here. Use this for the slow. He ults away, that's fine. Use this to heal. We shoot Baron. Making sure. There we go. We shoot Baron here, I think. I can like tank this effectively, I would say. It's not great, but it's like doable if I just use my E on repeat there for like a bit of HP healing. I can use this to my advantage. You see, I'm just making sure to get some HP back every time. And then we smite this, good. It's gonna be a good angle. Wark already used pretty much everything there, so. How much gold is that that I need? Um, Actually, uh, there is options for this lost item slot, by the way. Like, obviously, Edge of Night isn't necessarily good every game. This could be a Serp Fang as well, or could be a Ghost Blade. If you're, like, hunting people very effectively, Ghost Blade's good. If you don't need a Spell Shield, but Spell Shield against this team is very good. Uh, Serp Fang is obviously good against the high shielding opponents. That uh, could be a play there. Uh, the option for Lost Item here, I have, like... I could go... One shot him real quick. He was in animation, so he couldn't ult. I could go like Ravenous, which is probably what I'm going to do here. But I can also go Guardian Angel. It's another option. Use that. My ult to dodge the Warwick ult there. Quick movement speed boost there from the EU's. Can't walk up too far here. This would be a problem. Use that. Slow him. Use E to heal. Oh, you... Okay, fine. You got me with Gil Force. You're dead anyway. Come on. Really? I don't know. I don't think we can actually end. Uh, maybe I, we can end, but like... Oh. I mean... This is the end of the game. All right, cool. A last item would be Ravenous here or Guardian Angel, but I think I would go Ravenous because I wasn't too afraid with Guardian Angel uh, to have the second life necessary. Uh, so, yeah. But that's it for Kane. I'll see you guys in the endgame stats. All right, so for the endgame stats here, I ended up doing 36.6k damage, which is the highest in the game by a good margin. Actually, Timo can kind of close. Timo damage is always very surprisingly high. His shrooms hurt a lot. Fair play, I suppose. Yeah, but very good damage there. If you compare it to the enemy, I mean, I did like triple his damage. So four times, four axes damage, whatever that is. Close enough to four axes. Not bad. True damage to champions, 1400. You know, we have damage to objectives at 40k. It should always be a very high stat if you are the winning jungler. If that's not the case, like, there's definitely something you should be able to fix off that. You're not going for enough objective. You're not looking for enough stuff like that. So this would be definitely an option. To look at every single time. Healing done at 10.3k. All of this is also from just like E healing and stuff. You know, this definitely racks up. You need to use your E frequently to be able to keep up on good HP. Damage taken at 35.5k as well. We have self mitigated damage at 23k. Gold earned at 17.4k. For the runes, Dark Harvest dealt 3500 damage. Sudden Impact dealt 1100, ah, 1200 damage. 
Ingenious for like overall active item CDR for the Prowler's Claw use, but also for the tier stacking and stuff like that. Also, if you do have an Edge of Night or a Ghost Blade, that helps with that as well for the Spell Shield cooldown and the Ghost Blade cooldown. So this is just a very nice rune to have if you're going for Blue Cane with Prowler's Claw especially. So yeah, Magical Footwear for the free boots and then Futures Market to guarantee yourself like uh, Dirk purchases on the first back and just general item spike, like being able to buy like a... Um, a tier, for example, in situations where you can get like Dirk tier because you have Futures Market is really strong. So it's definitely the one you want to get on this one as well. Uh, but yeah, that's it for Kane. Uh, for Blue Kane, at least. I'll still do Red Kane in the future. But uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye.